The State Similarity Index has determined that there are six main regions of the United States. The South, the Northeast, the West, the Midwest, as well as Alaska and Hawaii. But within these regions, which states stand out as the most representative of each region? And which states are the complete opposite of each region? The State Similarity Index uses a variety of statistics to make this determination. It factors in demographics, culture, politics, infrastructure and geography. According to the index, Alabama is the most average state in the South. Its central position within the Deep South allows it to share characteristics with both the Gulf Coast states and those further inland. The state borders the Atlantic Ocean, but it has relatively little coastline. Alabama's demographics, including its racial composition, median age and education level, is representative of most southern states. Montgomery, Alabama served as the first capital of the Confederacy during the Civil War. All states in the southern region once practiced slavery and racial segregation. Like Alabama, these states tend to heavily favor the Republican Party in recent years. The state's economic mix is reflective of the southern region as a whole. In contrast, Hawaii has far different demographics, culture, politics, infrastructure and geography from the south. Hawaii was the last state to become part of the US, while some southern states were part of the 13 colonies. It has a much higher percentage of Asians and Pacific Islanders and a lower percentage of white and black people. Interestingly enough, Hawaii has the highest percentage of Buddhists in the United States. Hawaii is also one of the most liberal states and in recent years almost always votes for Democrats. States in the South prohibited interracial marriage up until the Supreme Court's 1967 decision while Hawaii never had laws prohibiting it. Hawaii's economy relies heavily on tourism, while the South relies more on agriculture and manufacturing. Unlike the South, none of its goods are carried by freight trains. According to the index, Connecticut is the most average state in the Northeast region. It is situated in the heart of the Northeast, making it a central state within the region. It is in close proximity to major cities like New York City and Boston. On the other hand, it also has a lot in common with less densely populated states in the region, like Vermont, New Hampshire and Maine. The state is less racially diverse than New York and New Jersey, but more racially diverse than the region's most rural states. While not as prominent as some other states in the region, Connecticut's maritime infrastructure contributes to the broader connectivity and trade activities in the Northeast. In contrast, Wyoming is the least similar state to the Northeast region, according to the data. Wyoming is the least densely populated state after Alaska. It is also landlocked and its climate is much drier than the Northeast's. Almost all of Wyoming's electricity is created by coal power plants, while northwestern states typically use gas and nuclear energy. Wyoming also uses the most electricity per capita of any state due to a high amount of mining. It has a far higher percentage of gun owners and hunters as well. Furthermore, Wyoming's population is not nearly as diverse as the Northeast's. In addition, the state is much more conservative and has far more Republicans in its government. Wyoming also has no state income tax, unlike states in the Northeast. According to the index, Colorado is the most average state in the West region. The state encompasses a diverse range of geographical features, including the Rocky Mountains, High Plains and desert areas, reflecting the broader landscape of the West region. The state is renowned for its outdoor recreational opportunities, including hiking, skiing and mountain biking. The emphasis on outdoor activities aligns with the Western region's reputation. Furthermore, Colorado's political landscape has evolved over time. While the state was historically a swing state, it has leaned more democratic in recent elections. The urban areas tend to be more liberal, while rural areas lean conservative. This is representative of the region as a whole, 
since it has some very liberal and very conservative states. The data suggests that Massachusetts is the least similar state to the West region. Massachusetts was one of the first areas of the country settled by the British, in contrast to the West. Its buildings and infrastructure tend to be significantly older as a result. On average, its population is also wealthier and more educated. In fact, Massachusetts has the highest percentage of college graduates in the country. Furthermore, its people are more interested in ice hockey than the West region. Additionally, the infrastructure in Massachusetts is designed to support its dense urban centers and established transportation networks. Unlike the vast and expansive infrastructure typical in Western states, Massachusetts is located on the Atlantic coast, while many of the states in the West region are landlocked. The index's statistics suggest that Wisconsin is the most average state in the Midwest. It is centrally located, sharing characteristics with both the western and eastern parts of the Midwest. Like several states in the region, it borders both the Great Lakes and the Mississippi River. Wisconsin has a strong agricultural tradition, which is a common characteristic of the region's states. The state primarily grows corn and soybean like the majority of the farms in the Midwest. Wisconsin also has a significant manufacturing sector, particularly in industries like machinery, food processing and paper production, so it is part of the Rust Belt. Wisconsin's demographics, including its median age, racial composition, and education level, mirror the Midwest as a whole. At the other end of the spectrum, Hawaii has different demographics, culture, politics, infrastructure, and geography. It has a much higher percentage of Asians and Pacific Islanders, and a lower percentage of white people. In contrast to the Midwest, which tends to have very moderate politics, Hawaii is one of the most liberal states and in recent years almost always votes for Democrats. In addition, Hawaii is much more mountainous than the Midwest and has a lower percentage of farmland. Its climate is much hotter than the Midwest's since it is so far south. Due to its isolation in the Pacific Ocean, few goods are manufactured in Hawaii, unlike the Midwest. A much higher percentage of people live in single-family homes in the Midwest, since many people in Honolulu live in high-rises. Furthermore, due to its warm climate, its buildings generally do not have heating systems. Please like and subscribe to the Objective Lists channel, as there will be even more interesting videos coming soon. For more insights and analysis, please visit objectivelists.com for new and thought-provoking articles about our world.